Today we're going to talk about automatic versus manual transmission and what is better for winter weather driving and why we think so. We are Simple Living. I'm Angie. I'm Scott. And this is Trucker Dog Lily. Hey guys. Two million accident free miles and we want to help bring our experience to you to make you a better driver. We have about 40 years experience in driving together and we only have maybe about nine months to a year all of that driving on automatic transmission. So we are going to favor the manual. All those transmission automatic transmissions are different. They all react in a different way. Some better than others but it's still an automatic transmission. That is true. Are you on automatic or are you on the manual team? Which one are you on? Comment below. Let us know. Let's start a competition. Let's see uh, who like who has more likes, all right? And then we will share that on our Instagram account. If you don't follow us there, make sure you do. And then also on Facebook. But one big topic that people really like automatics is because of how nice they are when you can cruise on the highway. Or and in that traffic. Is nice traffic they're nice yeah then you don't have to break your leg off mm -hmm. using that clutch but why would an automatic not be good in winter weather um, some some tra automatic transmissions react differently than others you might be going down a hill and some of them might kick into a neutral situation and if you're on an icy road and when those gears kick back in um, I, I just don't like the lack of control of the whole situation um, that kind of goes with like hill, when you're on hills, even if it is a get on ramp, we talked about that in our other video, uh, driving tips in the winter, um, kind of given over the Smith system. And if you have missed that video, check it out. It's a really good video giving you some driver basics, but the automatic, whenever you're on a hill and you want more control, it has that hill assist. And we found with experience, even on dry land, the hill assist, is not always the best assistance. One time mm -hmm. it just kept kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. And we actually had to hold the button in while we were trying to go through the green light. We actually had to sit through a red light. It was kind of like through the green and red light. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it looked like but, a real rookie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. It was really bad. It was bad. But if you were in the manual, then you would just be able to use the clutch power and the pedal at the same time and slowly let off and push on your pedal at the same time to help even out and keep the wheels from kicking and spinning. So that's also with like parking lots. If you're in a parking lot, then it's really, really slushy and it's just gonna keep spinning out on you because we all know the automatics have that uh, anti-slip traction, traction, traction control, control stuff. Yeah, so it's made to help try to gain control, but sometimes it unfortunately just sits and spins. It doesn't actually always do its job, but when you have the manual, you can definitely help control that more. Like I said, with working the clutch, if you're stuck, you can also rock yourself, uh, especially on those hills. If you were stuck on a hill, you can push the clutch in, allow yourself to roll back a little bit. Of course, if there's nobody behind you, don't do it if there's people <laughs> behind you, all right? We're not trying to encourage you to hit people. So you can roll backwards and then you can slowly let the clutch out and it's gonna grab and it's gonna pull you forward. In an automatic, you're not gonna be able to do that. Why? Because you're gonna have to hit the brake, put it in neutral, hold the brake, put it in reverse, and then do the same thing back forward. So you just lost all momentum. You can't do it in an automatic. You cannot override it. Like, maybe I'm wrong. If I am, comment below. Like, it's okay. If we're wrong, educate call us out me. on it. Yeah, educate us. Help us out. Because like we said, we don't have the experience in automatic. All right, so what about with the uh, backing? Like, what have you noticed in backing? Backing <laughs> is, is a real struggle. I can back up okay, but hooking up to the trailer, um, you know, it has that stall where it kind of revs up and then bam, you know, you're, you're slamming the kingpin and <laughs> Tell me about it. giving me whiplash and throwing her through the back wall. So <laughs> if you got any hints, pointers on that, Lily, let me know. Lily I need says them. it's crucial. It's, it it's is. not, yeah. She says she needs a massage, a full body massage, because it gets rough. <laughs> rough, <laughs> rough, rough, rough. <laughs> but, so it is hard because, it, like he's saying, it has that like backup assist thing. It, yeah, it's got like a stall that you have to rev it up and then it, it engages and then. <sighs> yeah, so automatic versus manual while hooking your set of doubles. So a lot of times in the parking lot with all that slush build up, it's just gonna happen. They can never keep the lots clear enough because you bring in a truck and there's snow on it and it drops down on the yard and it just builds up slush. So I know an experience when you're trying to back 
uh, it, the, your sneakers are going to try to kick out and get slippery on you. But if you're in a manual, then you can kind of let it slide out and you can keep going. You can kind of rev it real high and it and it does kick in. And an automatic, it just is going to try to think for you. Remember, it's smart shift, eye shift. Like, it's trying to think for you, all those different automatics. But there's nothing like you being able to really have control of the truck. So when you're hooking, um, especially with the doubles and it starts to slip and slide on you, uh, you just are not gonna be able to control it as much when you're in that slushy parking lot. You can't override it. Mm. So, yeah. All right, All right guys, guys, if you got any tips for us, let us know, remarks below, like the bell, like the channel. Love you guys, stay safe. And enjoy the adventures. Bye. Bye.